I wanted to see if I could upgrade my 2013 iMac to USB-C. I bought myself a Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter, which allowed me to hook up Thunderbolt 2 devices to my new Thunderbolt Mac. The downside was this adapter cost $70, and the adapter worked really well. I was able to hook up my Thunderbolt 2 drive, and I was able to use it with the new laptop. And then I saw a Reddit comment saying that you could use the Thunderbolt adapter the other way around. I originally posted that I couldn't see that working, but then I decided to do my research. That's when I saw on Apple's website that this adapter was bi-directional. As a bi-directional adapter, it can connect a new Thunderbolt 3 device to a Mac with a Thunderbolt or Thunderbolt 2 port, and Mac OS Sierra or later. And that piqued my interest, and I decided to give it a go. The only caveat is that this adapter will not supply power. And the other issue is that the ports are the wrong way around. So this is the adapter. As you can see, you've got the USB-C port here and the Thunderbolt 2 port there. We need to connect this the other way around. So we need to hook this up to the iMac and this up to the device. So for example, here's a device I want to hook up and we need some way to get those two connect. So what can we do? Well, connecting this end to the iMac or your computer is easy. All you need is a Thunderbolt 2 cable. But how do we connect the USB-C end of our adapter to the device? This is the Envoy Express, an external case that I make regular use of. This is a perfect example of a device that I would need to hook up to an old computer. What I thought I'd try first of all is a USB-C to a USB-A adapter. And you just hook it on like that. And I've checked in the system profiler and devices get up to five gigabits per second. If the Envoy Express was just a USB-C device and not a Thunderbolt 3 device, then attaching this adapter would work in a USB 3 port. As you can see, when I try and use this, macOS complains that we cannot use the Thunderbolt accessory and to plug it into a Thunderbolt port. This device will make a good proof of concept as it needs a Thunderbolt port to function. So how am I going to do this? Then I had a thought. A lot of docks use a cable to connect themselves to the computer. So a simple USB 3 cable. That way I could plug this adapter directly into the dock. So the adapter will be doing the Thunderbolt signal and the dock will be supplying the power. So let's get this set up. You know what, that is amazing. You can see the iMac has recognized the drive we now have Thunderbolt 3 working on a 2013 iMac. But does everything else work on this dock? I can plug in USB-A, Ethernet, and it all works perfectly. However, what we really want to try is an extra monitor. Do screens work? We could try a 1080p monitor, but you don't want to see that. What you really want to know is will a 4K monitor work? Both Thunderbolt 2 and 3 can handle a 4K screen, but Thunderbolt 2 can only transmit half that amount of data. So if we push the same number of pixels, that means the refresh rate has to drop. So instead of getting 60 hertz, we are only getting 30 hertz. If we really wanted 60 hertz, then we would have to drop the resolution down to 1440p, and then we could increase it up to 60 hertz. Because this dock is expecting full Thunderbolt 3 speeds, it's not attempting to combine both channels that would allow us the normal 60 hertz. Whereas in the past, you may have been able to get a 4K monitor running at 60 hertz over Thunderbolt 2, if it combined both channels. What this adapter can do is if you're still running a Thunderbolt 2 setup, is allow you to start experiencing Thunderbolt 3 devices. Then when you upgrade to a Thunderbolt 3 computer, you can keep all your devices. You know what, I'm really impressed this adapter worked as well as it did. If you've got an old Mac that's Thunderbolt capable, then give this a try. It might bring a new lease of life to your computer.